Anyway, we're going to get into this taping right now, and I'm sure you're going to really enjoy this segment we have especially planned for you. Coming yeah, up right now. Preference in music. Do you prefer the nostalgic, or would you like to be branching out and you know introduce some of the newer music? Well, I like the new music, but I think I like... I'm now into artists, where in the old days, I used to love the top 40. You know, I used to thought, boy, man, I said, it's amazing. You, you know, you, you still back in those days were getting 700 to 1,000 records a week, and out of those you had to pick three or four to go on the charts. And uh, back in the old days, the disc jockey, too, had a lot more input on what to be played and everything. And a lot of people just played their own things. If something came out, they'd give it a try, even if it wasn't that good. But the public take a shot at it to see if they liked it. They didn't like it. It was off the air real fast. Nowadays, uh, computers pick everything out. <laughs> they so slide the record in the computer. Do you like the record, computer? Well, let me see. According to uh, statistics, the demographics of this record, 25 to 34 will love this record. 12 plus won't like this record too much. And 35 to 45, forget it. They're going to turn the radio off. Oh, thank you very much. Well, we won't play that to one today. We'll go with this one here. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. How many markets are you in right now? Uh, with my weekly show, about 90. And I, with, with the thing where I'm on the air every night, I'm in about 12 markets. How many radio stations are not boring? Well, personally, well, my personal opinion, yeah. I'd say about five. About five of them are not boring. This is, for this market, we have more radio stations for, for I know, capita. There's about 80 signals coming in here, yeah. right? And you say only five of them are halfway That's my own personal opinion. I agree with you. Now, that's what's happening in the radio business. And that's why the music business is not that hot, because radio business is very boring. Because they're listening more to the people who do the... like the computers, and they're not going with gut feelings, which used to make radio very interesting. And they find an Arbitron, and the station gets a high Arbitron, everybody else tries to copy them. So it's a clone. You have five stations that are exactly, exactly alike. And to me, I think it's time for a change. I think it's time to just turn everything around backwards and just do it all differently. I think that would be terribly interesting, you know? Just throw all the rules out the window. Hey, let's go another way for a change. Let's see what happens. That's what they're doing in Los Angeles now with the wave. They've just thrown all the rule books out. They don't even play hit music. <laughs> all they do is play music that makes you feel good. That's supposed to bring the stress level down. Bingo. You sit there and say, I never heard that record before. I never heard that music before. I never heard that artist before. But it sure is good. I don't know where it came from, but I really don't care anyway because I'm feeling good right now. That's what you're saying to yourself inside. Mm -hmm. And I think there's so much music out there. There's so many great new artists that are not getting exposure. It's ridiculous. And to just go with the same old thing over and over and over again, it's boring me to death. Those radio stations now have more music and less talk it's just that's all you're going to be punching up. How do you feel about the, the disc jockey's role taking a back seat now? The disc jockey's role will never take a back seat. I, the thing that I'm trying to say is maybe he might not talk, he or she might not talk on the air, but they'll definitely, they should be sitting there segueing those records together because that's the human element. If the man or woman has soul, they're going to play the right records back to back and make it feel good. That's right. The computer has no soul. You throw a bunch of tunes into the computer and it goes... Well, today we'll play them backwards. Then we'll play them sideways. And now You'll we'll find devil messages when you play them backwards. Right, you know, that's the whole point I'm trying to make. That's what happens. When you don't play them right, you get a friction that happens, an irritation that happens. And when you're listening in the car, your subconscious doesn't know it. Or your subconscious is telling you, your main brain doesn't tell you that this radio is, is bumming you out right now. You should turn it off because... Now they're starting to give you subliminal signals and they're touching emotional places that you really don't want to feel today because you want to be happy, up and positive, taking care of your business. And they're screwing the world up with these damn, with these damn computers. When I was growing up, that was, well, we didn't have a TV until I was around four years old. I used to sit around the TV, I mean the radio and rock and listen to the DJs and they would always, they were real strong personalities like your show. Nowadays, the, the DJs, especially around here in the Phoenix area, they just try to upstage comedians, it seems. They don't really have a message. They just try to upstage the other DJs on, you know, the same time. And now with the, the, the shock element, 
it's even getting worse. Because now they're trying to find funny one-liners that'll really blow your socks off, you know? And at the same time, how many dirty words can I say and get away with it, you know? To me, that's not, that's not entertainment. That's just stupidity. I want to be entertained when I turn the radio, and I don't find it anymore. There's great music out there, but they're not playing it properly. They're not handling it properly. They're not giving the personalities back to the DJs their own choices. Yeah, and there's some great, great talent in radio. They're not taking it. Ready to open you used to discover set. a lot of people through your, you know, your yeah. show. And that doesn't seem to happen anymore because nobody gives them a chance. The new people they are starting out in the business. Do you remember that movie Network where the, the new Yeah, I'm mad down, as hell and I'm not going to take it out. The window says, I'm mad as hell. I can't take this anymore. You right. know what I mean? Well, I'm starting to get that way myself. Hey, give me a break, man. Out of 90 stations, could you give me maybe 10 of them I can go to and maybe play with and, and listen to and get, you know, get some relaxation? I, and in L.A., there's nobody. L.A., they are so computerized, so researched, I can't listen to any one of those stations for more than five minutes until, you know, I was, oh, give me a break and go to someplace else. I'm going back to my cassette player. That's where it seems to be moving. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that there's people like you still in the industry, and I'm looking forward to working with you in the future. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. We'll be back right after this. Painless. Fantastic. Thank you, Wolfman.